there. Today on It Is A Keeper, it's all about comfort food. I'm showing you how to make a three cheese penne casserole. This recipe is incredibly satisfying. Penne pasta is smothered in a creamy, cheesy sauce that's full of Italian flavor. So if you're craving comfort food, this casserole is for you. Plus, you can easily make a double batch and freeze one for another meal, or if you have a smaller family, this recipe can easily be halved. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step in making this three cheese penne casserole is to get our penne cooking. So here I have a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna add some salt. You wanna add quite a bit of salt to your pasta water because it really has to get in there and season and flavor the pasta. So I'm going to add an entire pound of penne pasta to the pot. We're gonna bring it back up to a boil and let it cook according to the package direction. So in this case, it's about 11 minutes. Okay, so while our pasta is cooking, we're gonna to begin to make the cheesy italian -y sauce. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some butter to our skillet here. We're gonna let that melt down. So in our melted butter, we're also going to add some diced onion. And we're just gonna cook this until it gets nice and soft, so only a couple of minutes. Okay, so our onions have softened up nicely. We're not looking for any color, just for them to be soft. We're also going to add to this some garlic. We're also going to add some Italian seasoning. And I have a great recipe to make your own homemade Italian seasoning on my website. You can find the link below. And we're going to add some basil, just some dried basil. I'm gonna give this a stir just to get that garlic scent blooming and to let all those spices just really come to life in the hot butter. Okay, so to this, we are going to add some flour. And this is the thickening agent. We're going to be making a little bit of a roux. The flour is gonna mix nicely with the butter, make a little bit of a paste here in the skillet. So we're just gonna cook it for a few minutes and just really cook out that rawness of the flour. But it's gonna help thicken the sauce. Okay, this looks great. Our flour has cooked down a little bit in the butter, has started to make a little paste and really coat the onions. So now we're going to add some liquid to the skillet. So here I have some chicken stock. We're just gonna add that. And I'm also going to add some milk. And then I'm switching over to my whisk at this point. I'm just going to whisk everything together. Our sauce has been simmering away a little bit and you can see how it starts to thicken up nicely. You don't want it too thick because otherwise it'll ha you'll have a dry casserole. So you want that casserole to have some moisture. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of my house seasoning blend, and you can get that recipe on my website as well. That just adds some salt, pepper, and other seasonings to the mixture, making sure everything is seasoned well. Now, to the skillet, we're gonna add our cheeses. So I have three different types of cheeses that I'm using in this recipe. I have Parmesan, and I have my heat turned off at this point. I really don't want these cheeses to burn, so I turned the heat off. I also have some Pecorino Romano. You could also use Asiago in this. That would be great as well. For the third cheese, I am going to add some mozzarella. So we have that all stirred together. The next thing we're going to add into here is our cooked pasta. So let me go grab that. I've cooked it and drained it and it's ready to go. Okay, so we have our cooked pasta. I'm just going to add that right into the skillet. Stir it so it combines, and oh, the stringy, delicious cheesiness. Okay, so we have our pasta here. So we're just going to get that all transferred in there. Don't leave any of that cheese behind. Okay, couple more quick things, and we can pop this in the oven, and we're just about done. We're in the home stretch. Here I have a can of diced tomatoes with Italian seasoning. Just look in your grocery store for ones that are seasoned with maybe basil, oregano, garlic. Pour it right on top, juice and all. Spread it around. You don't even have to stir it in, just kind of spread it on top. And the last thing we're going to put on this delicious comfort food is more cheese. So I just have some more mozzarella here and I'm just gonna put it on top so we have that nice cheesy layer. So we're gonna pop this into a hot oven. We are going to get all this cheese melted and then we're gonna dive in. I can't wait. Okay, so our three cheese penne casserole is ready. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. We are ready to dig in. I'm gonna grab a spoonful of this. Oh, look at that. I love the cheese. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm. This is fan 
fantastic. All I need is a big bowl of this pasta, snuggle up on the couch underneath a blanket with an 80s movie and a hunk of crusty bread, and it is a night in for me. You have got to try this recipe. Thanks for watching. You can get the full instructions in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.